All right, welcome back to SCCM Systems Integration Professional course. And today in this video, we will install Windows ADK and MDT. Um, both files are important for our future uh, course videos. And let's go to our server. So we have Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit ADK. Basically, it's a tool that can help operating system deployment, new servers. And then we have Microsoft Deployment Toolkit MDT, which have a better security and a lot of automation tools in there. So in this, we're going to go in details, but let's go ahead and install all this. So let's get started with our installation. So to install ADK, all you have to do is to right click on this, run as administrator. I already did that. So what you'll do is you'll get like option, where do you want to install? Let me just show you, click on continue, and then here I changed it to wherever I wanted to install, and that's right here in my H drive because that's the biggest drive that I have. So I put it right here. I named it ADK, and then everything is done after that. Uh, pretty much you don't have to do anything after that. Once it's done, you just close it, and everything uh, is finished. So in this video, we're going to focus on uh, MDT now, um, and let's go ahead and start installing that. We're going to go to our content files and click this PC. So we're going to go to content files right here and open it. All right, so Microsoft MDT, right click on that and go ahead and install that from there. What you will do is to click next, accept the agreement, click next. And here also you, you need to specify the, the location. Make sure you guys are using the right location. So we're going to go ahead and browse and uh, get the right location, which is this one. And we'll call it MDT. And we're going to click OK and click Next. And I don't want to join and install. This installation might take a little while, so let's wait for that and it's done now what I need to do is to configure some of the things in MDT so what I need to do is to click on right here and we need to go back in this alright so what you need to do is you need to look for deployment uh, deploy actually not right alright deployment workbench click on that and open that once you open that we need to set up some of the things. Right click on, uh, let me fix this right here. Okay, so right click on deployment share, click on new deployment share. Here, what you can do is actually, you can actually remove the, the C drive from here, deployment share path, and you can add um, the one that we wanted to add from here, like edge drive. So we can use the new right here, edge drive, and we can name it um, basically deployment share, um, and then you can put the dollar mark sign in there. So let me go ahead and add that. So it's going to be deployment share dollar sign. You guys can use it this way and click next. Actually, I did a mistake in there. This was just should, shouldn't be. This should be. This shouldn't be a dollar sign right here because that takes care of it. The next screen. So there you go. Um, share name. You can name it whatever you want to name, and I will just keep that same one. Um, next, and you have some options. I'll just keep the default next, and click next. So you should get a successful uh, message that everything is done. If you have any errors, make sure you go back and check the paths. It's a little tricky. Or you can do the save output. You can actually read the script also. And then click finish. So that's number one. After that, what we need to do is to open the MDT folder right here. This is created. So what we need to do right now is to right click on this and update deployment share. And we need to do completely regenerate the boot images. So go ahead and click next. And go ahead and click next. So it will create the boot images. So make sure also you should get a message that it is done successfully. If you do get any errors, you need to make sure 
um, you need to look into that and uh, try to fix that. So this might take a few seconds. Once this is done, we are going to start our uh, configuration for uh, our IIS um, configuration. That they are really tricky, so we get, we will take some time on that one, and also we'll I'll show you a script that you guys can use to make things easier. But we don't want to jump into scripting. I'm just going to show it to you, but it's not going to be used in our video because we want to create some errors for our, our videos. I mean, when we do all this, there's going to be something that's going to be missing. And when you have something missing, how do you fix it? You probably have to come back to these options again, and we will try to see what we did, and where we did a mistake, and uh, that's how you will learn more hands-on skills. Setup is done successfully. Just finish and to check you can also check the files go to your uh, drive right there you see ADK deployment share MDT double click on it and check see this is why we need SCCM this is it has to do things with SCCM so um, that's what we're going to do you know we're getting prepared now and uh, we're almost done with this section now we're going to do install and configure IIS in our next video thank you and I'll see you guys in that video